Dominic is your boy Inc. Welcome to a content shout out for uh Sir Moist. Moist critical. Um Penguin Z O. You know, I'm gonna think about Well first of all, I think one of my favorite YouTubers, um content put on content has been in the game for a while. Um when I think about my my favorite YouTuber, I think about Penguin, I think about Gooby Cold Morning. I think about a lot of people that are that have been there. I think about Smosh and a lot of people that have been there for a while and because you've been there for a while you have the capacity of doing whatever you want and having got a lot of it. So when I first um heard of Penguin Zio, I was like, Oh, it's just another fucking streamer, another uh, game player. And then you realize there's so much more than that. He had a passion for uh, the, the way I really got into his video and into the persona of Moe's Critical was when he he was a fan of um, At The Forge, which is a uh, show with a blacksmith. And I was also a fan of that, so I was like, okay, well, let's shine out. And I completely fell in love with the with the character because Charlie uh, has this... Um, capacity of being extremely monotone, having a very monotone voice where uh, it can put you to sleep. But then he talks about this, this horrendous shit. And this horrendous shit, you're like, oh my god. And he has such a calm monotone vote about it. And it's also the expression he uses. And you're like, what's next? But Charlie's also a good dude. He, um, he gets, he, he talks about the drama, he doesn't get involved in drama. And when it does, it's always like, um, fully respected for example there was like this drama with Sneeko and what I like about Charlie also is and I know it sounds like I'm kissing the dude's ass but I just got a lot of respect for him uh, we're also the same height so that's like a kind of like a role model if you want you know I don't know why I did that because it is a role model um because I I remember I'm a fan of Nico Cabo Avocado and I was a fan of of uh, Moish Critical also and then uh, those two were beefing, and Moish Critical was saying, oh, well, Nikocado is killing himself for views. But then again, he never insulted Nikocado. Nikocado took it personal, because the video was aiming at him, and the thumbnail was at him. But Moish never was, um, he never felt, he never felt judgmental. He was questioning, he was kind of questioning the word ethic, he was kind of questioning the ethic, but not Nikocado himself. He didn't understand that there's a thing that she has to do for views, and that those things are, are sometimes... Uh, Moist is the perfect representation of that. It's not in an hypocritical, hypocritical type of ways. Um, Moist is like this super nice guy. And um, he's like... He doesn't want to get involved in drama. But then he has to get involved in drama to keep a uh, certain relevancy. Um, and get a new follow-up, right? So getting inside that and he was talking about how Nikocado was killing himself for views and Charlie was doing the same thing but for drama so you're like okay well you can't understand where Nikocado come from and again he was questioning the attic right and why am I talking about the drama with Nikocado well because there was another there was another drama with Sneeko and this time it was more personal because Sneeko uh, attacked Charlie's girlfriend he, um, he talked about the magazine he was sent doing some threats and Charlie uh, went a bit more ballistic did you get it did you get the, did you get the idea did you get the joke a ballistic um um and yeah because it was more personal uh, Charlie was more um not, not necessarily aggressive not mad but he was more um it, well, I wouldn't say authoritative, because it felt more like, okay, I'm going to put my step down because you're going too far. And with Nico Kado, he never did that. He never actually did. And the biggest W in, in fucking YouTube history was because of Nico Kado. It was um, Nico Kado who, who spent years, entire years, going to a fast food restaurant and having, um, having pizza, burger, uh, fried chicken. Uh, like junk food, right? And uh, the biggest W was from Moist. And Moist, as to the whole drama, was talking. I don't know what exactly happened, but that, what I do know is Mr. Beast came out with a Moist burger. So imagine one guy has to eat food for, uh, for views and relevancy, and this other guy that was beefing with actually managed to get his name on the menu when he has nothing to do with the... Uh, with the 
the junk food industry, right? And it's also what I like about Moist is, and why I I call him a role model is because I I see Moist as this jack of all trade. I see this guy who's able to play video games, who's able to to be in drama, who's able to talk about making movie. He's extremely funny. He does tearless. And when I look at my channel, and when I think about where my channel wants, I want to go with my channel. I think about how much of a variety I want to do. It, there's this, there's this constant misconception. And I'm not trying to attack anybody. I'm not trying to be a dick, but I'm trying to talk about a misconception that I, variety streamers. So they're not, they're not doing, um, they're not playing a certain type of game. They're not playing uh, only uh, shooter. They're not, they're not playing only action. They're not playing only race game. They're not only playing a uh, sports game. Right? There, it's in variety. So there's a variety of style of genre of games. But if you're truly a variety, then you don't do only gaming. And it's kind of crazy because, honestly, Moist was somebody I loved watching, right? And um, then I started, when I started streaming, um, I was only going to game. I was never going to show my face because, you know, self-confidence issues, self uh Self doubt, and uh, when I start Charlie, uh, when I when I when I did a face reveal, I started looking for more. Um, you know, you, you, you try to look at people that are successful, and you you try to look at them and say, okay, well, I want to emulate the success. I want to be able to say, well, guess what? This is something that is super super like a like a trademark. This is um, groundbreaking. This is innovative. Um, but I think in every single sphere of society, uh, you look at um, philosoph. You think about Aristotle. You think about uh, about Peter George uh, Jordanson. I just fucked that up, right? Right. I just fucked it up. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if you look at uh, sports athletes, you think about uh, if you think about basketball, you think about Kobe Bryant. You think about uh, Michael Jordan. If you think about a comedy, you think about certain people, right? And and, and it's kind of funny because. Again, you it's 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 a nice thing to have a role model, and also you want to put yourself in the shoes of somebody that's doing something similar to you. For example, um, in my channel, I have a lot of video uh, per reviews, and I want to keep it. I want to keep. Mm, I want to keep it. Um, ah, it's social enough so I can be like, okay, well, this guy did this. I think it's pretty funny. And what I was talking about, uh, Mike uh, Moist. And the uh, drama he had, right? But there's time where it's super funny where he was talking about James Corden and how James Corden was apparently an asshole. And uh, he wasn't necessarily attacking the dude, but he was talking about something that's social, something that is a current event. And I thought it was so refreshing because, again, we have this beginning normal person, which is much critical. And I love, I love, love, love. What I, I, what I appreciate the most out of Moist Critical is there's this, this lore and... It doesn't feel like... Okay, so for example, one of my favorite streamers is Kid Boga, right? Kid Boga, I think, is one of the greatest streamers alive. Uh, you play with life. And um, what I like about Kid is that he's able to be entertaining, entertaining, entertaining. And there's this lore. There's, he creates those characters. He creates the, the scammer. And we refer to it as a saga, um, the 36-hour saga, the Abel saga that I just reviewed. Um, but Moist... He's, he's kind of like a, a normal dude. He's like a normal dude with a normal story and a normal background. Um, he was talking, he did a video lately uh, about the fact that he was in a movie and he was on set of The Hunger Games. And I think that's cool. I think that's cool. I think the fact that he's, he's able to make a joke out of it, like, oh, I was the main character, right? But he wasn't. He was, he was. And I think that's super funny. And I captured the character. But um, what I did like about this video is he did a trip to, to go back to the stopping ground. And when he was doing that, he was talking to a story about his father, of bringing him there, and how his father was there for him. And I just think that's, that's it. That's not a character, that's real life. I feel like this is just something that's super uh, genuine and authentic. And although this, there's these big steps, there's these big, uh, like, larger than life, like how uh, Voice Critical is a good guy, but Penguin Zio is... This fucking uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> I was watching a comment on his uh, YouTube. It made me so laugh. Um, it, it was there was a clip right used. Unfortunately, it was used like out of context. And Mulcahy was talking about rape, 
last night, and uh, somebody called uh, <laughs> Moise, and the comment was literally, Moise could call is too nice, it wasn't him, it must have, it must have been the name, wait, <laughs> it must have been Penguin Zio, I hate that scene, and it made me cry, so I was laughing so hard, and you know, um, a lot of people, they have this fan base because, oh shit, they make mess like this, they, they fucking drop a bottle like a dummy, um, but no, um, a lot of people are, are, are having to do clickbaity, they're having to have, like, uh, they're having to, to spend so much fucking money, I'm thinking about the vlog, and back in the day is what it was, uh, where people spend fucking million dollar, and you need to have a Lambo fucking guinea, um, to, to, to just be, um, this relevant, right, and, what I like about also about Moist, which is something that we don't see, is that he has it like a, like a, no, wait, wait, sorry, I have ADHD, so it goes back and forth. So, Moist, I feel like what he accomplished and the the notoriety he has is gained through kindness, to being genuine, to being a better version of, a better version. Like he was talking about, I remember one of his streams, somebody was asking him about Jack and uh, saying that Mr. Beast ruined YouTube. And Moist was like, yeah, but he didn't ruin YouTube. People have been doing that for a while. Um, Mr. Beast was only the first guy that was successful doing it. And he's able to come up with these opinion where it uh, always take the moral high ground. And it's always so, um, always try to be a good person. And that's something that we need as a role model. We need as something that is relatable. And um, he was talking about, uh, and it's also... Moist, why I like, why I love Moist, Moist, is that he's trying to, he's, it's hard, it's hard to explain, but as a person, as a creator, he's trying to be a good person, but he's also making a conscious effort to expose people. For example, there was this crypto scam zoo, um, with Logan Paul, and uh, although he didn't do a fucking hit piece on it, he talked about he reacted to Coffeezilla, which actually made an hit piece, and. Moist was like, no, I cannot let that guy go. He, he scammed a lot of people. And he was able to shine light on a smaller creator and say, look, this is a fucking amazing documentary. We're going to react to it together. It's going to be amazing. And that's why I love it. Because it's one thing to be... Uh, it's one thing to be... And this is on this year. This is talking about YouTube, right? Of course, it's talking about YouTube. But on this, on a bigger scale, you're talking about... Uh, <laughs> you're talking about... Being a good person versus making the world a better place. And being a good person, phenomenal. Good for you. Making the world a better place, thank you. Because you're actually making an active effort for a better future. And that's what we aim to be as human. If you don't aim to do that, then you have to question your humanity. Um, so yeah, so this was a long video for fucking absolutely no reason. Just because it was a, a homage, it was a shout out, it was a thank you. It was... My way of showing appreciation for somebody that deserves appreciation. Uh, made a big mess. I'm going to have to clean it up. But I love you guys. Peace.